I'm Alex Zolbert here in Tokyo, outside one of Japan's most famous and revered temples. Normally, you would see many Chinese visitors here, but with the ongoing tensions over the disputed islands, that is not the case these days. And in terms of China's transition of power, one thing analysts say they'll be watching for closely is just how hawkish the new leader might be. That is one thing they're watching for, or could this be an opportunity for both sides to perhaps hit the reset button and let things cool down a bit. Economically, of course, the stakes are huge. We're talking about the world's second and third largest economies, huge trade deals, massive investment at stake. So in the words of many analysts, it's in both sides' best interest to resolve this dispute as quickly as possible. That's just some of what they'll be watching for here in Tokyo. I'm Samnima Udas in New Delhi. Not much is known about the new Chinese leadership here in India, so the country is in a wait and watch mode. But relations between the two Asian giants has always been a mix of cooperation, competition, and sometimes even friction. The two countries fought a brief but bitter war back in 1962 over border disputes, and both sides continue to accuse each other of occupying key territories in the Himalayan region. But over the past few years, analysts say as economic power shift has moved to Asia, relations between the two countries have improved. Uh, bilateral trade currently stands at about $60 billion. China continues to be India's largest trading partner. And analysts say even though both countries continue to doubt each other's political strategy, they value and recognize each other's economic potential.